The House is expected to pass a bill as early as this week, giving Congress a say in any potential Iran nuclear agreement after it was approved with overwhelming bipartisan support last week in the Senate. The legislation would give Congress 30 days to review and possibly reject any final deal. Republican Senator Deb Fisher of Nebraska serves on the Senate Armed Services Committee and is joining me right now. Good to see you, Senator. Nice to be here. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Happy Mother's Day to you as well. So a reasonable and acceptable compromise is how the White House is describing this bill. You support it. Uh, do you think, Senator, that it uh, hamstrings or strengthens U.S. negotiators? I think it strengthens them. You know, we're seeing that Congress and now the American people are involved in the process by this bipartisan bill that passed. Who would have guessed? Because a little over a month ago, there wasn't a lot of consensus out there about the involvement that Congress should have in this process. But through a series of events, the American people wanted more information. And I can tell you on a bipartisan basis, senators believe that information is very important for us to have. Now, before we continue on, Senator, let's uh, show everyone some of the, the key provisions of the Iran uh, deal review. Within five days, Congress gets texts of the agreement and related materials, uh, verification assessment on the Iranian compliance, and certification deal meets objectives, and it does not jeopardize national security. So, Senator, you know, even with the most ironclad uh, deal possible agreed on, do you have any concerns that it takes Iran may at some point or initially uh, start playing hide and seek with inspectors and perhaps at some point even just say, you know what, we changed our mind. We don't care about <laughs> uranium enrichment for the purposes of energy. We're building nukes. Well, correct. The Iranians have shown us by their past actions that they, that they can't be trusted. That's why it's really important that Congress will be able to look at all the verifications that uh, were used for, to form this negotiation, this agreement, and that we'll have access to that over that 30-day period. But we can't, uh, we can't take it for granted that they're going to provide us with all that information. You know, they have centrifuges that continue to spin. I think when we look at a snapback program, when we look at the sanctions that have been imposed in the past, we need to be realistic that that's not a snapback program. It took time to get those sanctions in place. It's going to take time to verify that Iran is meeting their obligations with this negotiation, with this agreement. And it's going to take time to get those sanctions back in. So when we hear about snapback on, the, on reinstating sanctions, that bothers me. When we hear about verification, at military complexes and uh, Iran not being open to that, that concerns me. So I'm, I'm very anxious to have a look at uh, what's going to come out of this agreement. Do you think that partisan politics could prevail uh, in the future and perhaps in instances where President Obama might have to pivot quickly in the event that uh, Iran may not be uh, in compliance with all the agreements? I hope not. You know, we're talking about national security. We're talking about a country that sponsors terrorism around the world. So we need to work together on this. We need to make sure that the administration is firm and resolved when they are negotiating with Iran as well. Mm -hmm. And you feel that Congress, because as you said, it's all about uh, national security. And so you believe that at this point, politics could be set aside and it's all about protecting Americans and making sure that Iran doesn't get uh, to build nukes for the purposes of military action. Most definitely. You know, we need to monitor the, uh, the nuclear program that the Iranians have. We need to monitor their military sites where, where the action has taken place in the past, possible testing of nuclear weapons. We need to be sure that we understand what's involved here, put politics aside, and make sure that we are looking at the security of our country and the security of the world. Indeed. Senator Deb Fisher, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you.